love talking about color trademarks because they're kind of unique. So what is a color trademark? Uh, remember, first of all, that a trademark is kind of a signifier of a brand, right? So something that, like a logo or a name, where when people see it or hear it, they instantly think of your brand. A color trademark is the same thing, right? It is a color that is used in connection with your product or service that when folks see it, it's so recognizable that they instantly think of your brand. And the best way to explain it is by example. So think of Burt's Bees, the chapstick, right? You see that yellow tube, even from far away, without seeing any other name or logo on it, and you kind of know, oh, that's a Burt's Bees product. Same thing with UPS. You see a big brown truck, you're, you're pretty sure it's UPS. Probably the most famous example is a Tiffany's blue box, right, with the pretty white bow. You see that robin's egg blue box, you know that it came from Tiffany's. So how do you protect a color trademark? It's hard for a new brand uh, to have protection in a color trademark. It's not impossible, but it's hard because of that recognition factor. Um, usually it takes a little bit of time to build up that recognition. Um, and that recognition is goes by a couple of names. There's acquired distinctiveness or secondary meaning. Those are kind of technical sounding terms, but basically it's that, it's that recognition factor. So that's a little bit about color trademarks and I hope that helps. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.